And our top story tonight, devastation in Haiti. More than 300 people are dead. Hundreds more are missing after a 7.2 magnitude earthquake hit the island nation. And that number is expected to drastically climb in the coming days. Images flooding in, showing communities surveying the damage and desperately searching for missing loved ones. The prime minister declaring a month long state of emergency as the country braces for another natural disaster, a direct hit from Tropical Storm Grace. Haitian journalist James Pierre is standing by with an update for us, but first a look at the moment that sent chaos through the streets. Video posted to social media shows collapsed buildings, including this hotel in Lake High, where members of the community frantically try to rescue people trapped beneath the rubble. So they are trying now if they can save the people because there's so much people down there. Haiti's Civil Protection Service now saying hundreds of people are either hurt or missing as hospitals become overwhelmed with patients. The situation is terrible and they don't have like tools, they don't have like a uh, proper tools that they can save the people that are uh, under the house. Some people already died now. Prime Minister Ariel Henry traveling from the capital, Port-au-Prince, this afternoon to tour the most affected areas. I will make an evaluation. We were told there is a lot of damage. People were dead in houses, hospitals, and infrastructures collapsed. I will check to see what can be done to organize assistance. The quake hit around 8.30 a.m. local time. According to USGS, its epicenter was about 80 miles west of Port-au-Prince. At least six aftershocks shook the region. A tsunami warning went into effect but was taken down shortly after. Seismologists say it occurred along the same fault line as the catastrophic quake that hit in 2010, killing more than 220 20,000 people. 11 years later, the country is still struggling to recover and rebuild. The impoverished nation, the poorest in the Western Hemisphere, is vulnerable to earthquakes and hurricanes. And forecasters say Tropical Storm Grace is expected to hit on Monday. Haiti has been struck by one tragedy after another. Today's quake, just one month after the assassination of its president, Jovenel Moise, throwing the nation of 11 million people into political crisis. This morning, President Biden and Vice President Harris were briefed on the quake and authorized immediate aid. A growing number of countries also promising humanitarian assistance. But Prime Minister Henry emphasized the need for organized aid, unlike what happened in 2010 when resources were slow to reach the suffering people. We are calling for a lot of solidarity, but highly structured solidarity. We are setting up a task force to coordinate the aid so that what happened in 2010 is not repeated again.